tena dagoreti na sio mara yako ya kwanza hapa kanisani karibu Asante sana ndugu yangu KJ His Excellency the President of Kenya His Excellency Dr William Ruto our bishop Bishop Dr Ken Kamau na wakristo wenzangu Bwana Yesu asifiwe God is good and all the time Ah uh, rais wetu saa zingine tukiwa na wewe tunakuwa wachache kwa maneno kwa sababu sisi tunakuja tu eh, to prepare the way but i want to say that today i am a very blessed person for me to have come to this church today mimi naona ni kama hata kuleta rais ni Mungu alifanya hiyo jia ni shiriki na nyinyi siku ya leo and i want to loud the quality of praise and worship that i have seen in this church to be honest leo nimekubuka nikiwa CU high school na university wakati tulikuwa tunaomba zaidi kwa sababu the kind of quality and worship tumeshiriki nayo it is touching the core of the heart so to our teams who have led us asanteni sana you already did a lot of preaching before even the bishop came to conclude na mimi ningetaka niwatakie kila raheri hii kanisa nikikaa hapa chini sijaona hii kanisa hii hii ambayo tuko hapa siku ya leo peke yake i have also seen expansion of this revival church and not just in terms of preaching mimi nimeona hata hii kanisa nimeona pale kuna look up tv i have seen even more bishop i am sure you have capacity kuligana na ile favor mugu amekupea of even establishing education institutions As you are preaching here mimi nikikuangalia nimeona mtu kama bishop Oyedepo akipreach hapa ile maneno mugu amemjalia akafanya pale Nigeria nimeona pia wewe mugu amekupea kibali ya kupeleka hii kanisa na ministry bele nikitaka nitoe shukurani zangu za roho kwa wanadagoreti wote kwa kuchagua rais wetu Tulikuja hapa siku mingi tukioba kura. Na unajua vile tumepokea samoni ya siku ya leo. Adui walikuwa wengi. Na adui walikuwa na nguvu mingi. Lakini sisi kuwa hapa siku ya leo tukileta rais wetu akiwa rais. Mimi naona ya kwamba ile samon tumepata siku ya leo. We have a walking testimony in the name of our president. Na pia nawashukuru sana wanadagoreti. Unajua pale bunge tukienda kwa sababu bunge ni kubwa sana. Pia tuko na milengo yetu na tuko na watu ambao roho zinaigiana. Na mimi kama niko na rafiki pale bunge ni huyu mheshimiwa KJ. Mimi nataka niwashukuru sana kwa kuchagua KJ lakini mimi pia natoa onyo kidogo. Huyu KJ ni mwanakamati na chairman wa ICT yote ya Kenya pale bunge. Lakini mimi nataka nitume bishop. Ukiogea na KJ, unajua mimi nasaidia rais wetu kama chairman wa budget pale bunge. Uwabie KJ, aache kuja ananyakua budget yote ya nchi, alete dagoreti south. <laughs> KJ iko hapa 289 constituencies. Tafadhali wacha kuchukua yote unaleta hapa. Kwa sababu wanakujanga Jiwe ni rafiki tukiongea anataja barabara tukiongea anania, ananiabia rais hata hii amepitisha I want to tell you you have a very hard working MP ambaye anawatetea na anawaletea maendeleo ya mwisho rais wetu mimi nashukuru Mungu nimepata nafasi ya kufanya kazi kwa karibu sana na wewe And there are several things that I have seen working closely with you. One is that the destinies of nations are not predicated on on wishes. The deliberate 
decisions of a leader are the ones that define where a country goes and the future of a country. Na pia hiyo ni kiangalia, ni kisoma na wewe. I have also seen that the countries we try to emulate, including a, a country like China, it never grew by wishful thinking of the leader. It grew by the deliberate policies, and especially of Deng Xiaoping from 1978, where he opened up China and came up with new policies. A country like South Korea also never grew on, on wish lists. It grew by deliberate policies of General Park, where he wanted to grow the economy of South Korea in what is called an export-led economy. And in fact, he established a committee to enhance the exports of South Korea. And in all the 19 years he was the leader of South Korea, he never missed any of the monthly meetings of that committee. Mr. President, when we took over, we had long meetings, including with the majority leader and our treasury. And the truth of the matter is that Kenya was in red. Kenya was in a cliff. Lakini wewe ukatueleza, ata tukiedelea kulalamika, hatujisaidi. Ukatuabia tukuje shati na tuigie kwa kazi. And out of that, Mr. President, and your wise, deliberate policies, Kenya is now not on the cliff again. You have been able to stabilize our economy. Mr. President, actually in this year of 2023, beyond the other problems we have in the economy, Kenya was actually the 29th fastest growing economy in the world. <laughs> Mr. President, you have been able to work around our debt. You are no longer at a distress. We are now able to fulfill our obligations and we are almost taking off. Mr. President, when we took over, inflation was very high. You have been able to stabilize our inflation actually within our limit. We have set a limit of 7.5, 2.5 to 7.5. We are already below that because of deliberate policies. Mr. President, also, you told us that for a country to grow, we have to focus not on consumption, not on, not on consumption, but on production. And you never stopped there. You actually walked the talk. That is why in all the spheres of production, you have been able to incentivize primary production by way of fertilizer, by way of mining, will be coming up very strongly, by way of forestry, by way of fisheries. Also in the industry, you are doing deliberate decisions and policies around industry, around aggregation parks, around industrial parks, around enhancing our EPZs. These are the deliberate policies you are putting in place. Also in the tertiary level of production, Mr. President, you have invested a lot of money in IT and also other areas around tertiary production. But also, you told us that to build a cohesive economy, beyond growing the economy, we have to build an egalitarian society, an equal society. And that is why you are investing money in the healthcare, because these are shared services. You are also investing a lot of money in education, so that even as we grow the economy, we continue to bring all the hearts and all the brains of the Kenyan youth into building our country. Mr. President, mimi ni kijana. Lakini ni kikaa chini, ni kisoma uchumi miki za ulimwengu. I am certain, in the next few years, Kenya will be a great economy. <laughs> Na rais ukanyangia hapo, sisi tuko nyuma yako. Wewe uedele kujega nchi yetu, kwa sababu tunaona mwagaza pale bere. Na kwa wa Kenya wote, saazigine when we are doing these kind of things, saazigine kuna instability. It is common and normal just to remind us that we have some work to do. Kwa hiyo instability abayo inaeza kuja, tukaza mishipi. Kwa sababu mimi naona, kama rais agekua mutu wakujipenda, akue mutu tu kutaka kupigiwa makofi, ageigia kiti, aseme weka subsidy kwa mafuta, ata weka subsidy kwa unga, na tuedere kukopa. Lakini within no time, Kenya would collapse. Lakini kwa sababu rais ajipendi, anataka Kenya abayo hiko na msingi, amesema hata daganya wa Kenya, tuweke msingi the biti, na hiyo msingi diyo itapereka Kenya mbele. Kwa hayo mengi, asanteni sana, may God bless you.
Ladies and gentlemen, if you do not...